the left of launch activities differ based on what your role in the process is. Me personally, my left of launch is doing the investigation and knowing what I know about the business tip to tail. Is this thing actually going to fit? You know, and, and if it's if it is going to fit, what kind of human changes have to happen? The the whole organizational change management aspect is is bigger than the technology implementation, and and I think that uh, I'll say appification has kind of messed this up because people are used to getting the free app, the 99 cent app, whatever. I just click the button on my phone. I have it right now. What kind of deployment or left of launch does that take? It doesn't take any, you know, but, but what we saw in the industry was all of these apps everywhere and people were having these meetings once a month. What new apps have you found? What new apps have you found? And then people like me pulled all their hair out because <laughs> there's... <laughs> Evidently you and Jacob went to the yeah. same school of that. Yeah, there's no governance of of any of that data or anything. And so, yeah, you might have a really cool point solution, but that data doesn't integrate to anything and it only works for one team. And, and as a growing enterprise, you have to see all of your data. Yeah, unfortunately, so, when I was younger in life, I was the one that was like, hey, I found a new app. And that was pretty much weekly. So I understand where they're coming from. But coming back to the management what are you going to do with it? Like, yeah, but, but it all served its purpose, right? It, it is one of those things of, and, and as we've seen now, a lot of these so-called apps have been acquired by these larger platforms and they're now where they belong inside of a data ecosystem that, that provides intelligence uh, as opposed to just stuff everywhere uh, and making a couple people efficient versus an entire enterprise efficient. And so some of the other left of the launch stuff is, is really mapping processes. Have you mapped your existing process? I would say most organizations out there have no idea what their existing processes look like. And so before we go to step in to uh, introduce a new piece of tech or replace another piece of tech, we're mapping out processes to make sure that, one, we're not missing something. Because, you know, sales demos are flashy, they're great, they solve all your problems. Then you install the software and you're like, oh, man, we made some assumptions. Uh, and so <laughs> so, so if you don't have all that mapped out, then, then you're going to make assumptions. You're going to get it and you're going to say, after you've looked at 14 software demos and, and you're like, no, I'm pretty sure this one did that. And then you realize that you selected a tool that you assumed this other tool was doing this function in this tool, but it's not, that's a different piece of software. And, and so, so there's just so much of uh, the formality that you've got to bring to it. And the formality is not uh, exciting or sexy or anything like that. It's just, it's just pure documentation and understanding your business um, because not everybody is exposed to the business tip to tail like people in my positions are, um, where we see how finance interacts with HR, which interacts with operations. And so if you have a siloed uh, a siloed procurement approach by chance, so say if, if your HR team has the uh, wherewithal just to go buy software on their own, which I'm not advocating against. In, in fact, my recommendation is that the people leading HR, the people leading finance need to be leading some of those selections of the tools that they're using within their groups. And a person like me just provides guidance and consultants over how does that affect the enterprise and how, and then that's my job is to stitch all that together and say, okay, we're going to build an integration from HR to accounting. We're going to build an integration from accounting to, to the to project management, what have you. That's where where I come in is, is by saying I know how to put these together on the backside because I want each group to have the best tool that they can possibly have and not limit the organization based on, well, it doesn't talk to that one. Well, that's today. Those are those aren't that big a problem. We can make them talk. 